Hi, this is Tom Searcy with The 1% Difference. Welcome to Season 3. We're going to talk about the four types of sales, and this is really part one in a four-part series. Now, the first one I want to talk about is how do you sell new things to your current customers? Understand that when you're selling new things, things that you haven't sold to your current customer, for the first time, it's four times as hard as just selling them more of what you've always sold them. And for that reason, you're gonna need some specific strategies to make that work. I'm gonna give you five ideas. The first one is I want you to start with the problem, not with your relationship. Now your natural tendency is gonna to wanna to go back to your relationship, our trust, our background, our experience, trust me, this will work. I'm gonna discourage that. Instead, I want you to start with what is the problem? and make certain that you understand it clearly and they understand clearly why it is that at this time you're coming to them to try and help them to solve this new particular problem that you haven't solved before. Secondly, I want you to make certain that you call out what's different from what they are currently doing and what you can offer to them. What I mean by that is, is that there's a reason that you've shown up now at this particular time with this particular solution. What is the difference between what you've been doing up till now and what you're going to be doing for them in the future? Make certain that you've got that clearly in their mind. Third thing you have to do is you have to establish who is the buyer's table. Now, there's a reason that you haven't sold them this new item up until now. Maybe you didn't have it. Maybe you didn't have the alliance partner or the partnership or the dealer, distributor, the provider. I'm not certain what it is. But I will tell you that there was a reason up until now that you didn't sell it. In addition, because it's new, it's possible that there are more people that are going to have to be involved at the buyer's table to make this buying decision. So if that's the case, I want to make certain that you've got them at the table. Fourth thing you want to lay out the phases of the transition. What I mean by that is that you've already worked with them for a long sustained period of time on particular problems in a particular manner. This is something new, it's something different, and so you're going to have to edge your way in through a clear roadmap that lets them know that it's a safe choice to work with you in this new way. Otherwise, you're gonna get stuck with them saying, hey, like you an awful lot, you're doing a great job, let's not rock the boat, let's not do anything different right now, let's just stay with where we're at. You don't want that. You want to expand that relationship. You want to add new products and services to it. And so to add those new products and services, you've got to give them a roadmap. Fifth and finally, you've got to make certain that your clothes is different. This isn't the clothes that you used when you first landed the business. This isn't the clothes that you used when you re-upped the contract. This is different. You're not selling. See, they already know who you are. They already know what kind of a company you are. As a matter of fact, that's why they like you. And sometimes they've invited you to bring them a new product or a new service or a new solution. What you want to do is you want to make sure that they feel completely comfortable that by moving to you, they're not going to be repeating some mistakes that they may have made with other providers before now. So you want to make certain that instead of selling, you're providing them a roadmap, step by step, that they can say to themselves, this is going to be an easy transition and we're making it a good choice. Until the next time, go out and make the 1% difference. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button down below and the bell, and that way we'll let you know every time there are new videos that are out there. And you can also visit our website below.